Signed on Palm Sunday in 1461, and the events that followed would go down in history as being England's most bloodiest battle. It was here on the fields of Toton, where 100,000 men had gathered to kill each other. The War of the Roses had raged on for years, two families and two kings fighting over one throne. Tonight, so read the paranormal and fan Chris Ainley have come to investigate St Mary's, a redundant Anglican chapel that still to this day keeps a watchful eye over the 20,000 soldiers that drew their last breath on these isolated fields. All year round there are reports of ghostly villagers, soldiers and horses being seen and heard. The eerie cries of war and the clashing of swords is often reported. Some people have even seen lights coming from within, however upon inspection the chapel is in complete darkness. Will we encounter the restless souls of fallen soldiers? Or with the amount of death that has taken place here, does something more sinister lurk in the shadows of war? Tonight, we investigate St Mary's Chapel. As we make our way towards tonight's final destination, I can't help but wonder what it must have felt like knowing you were going to a place in order to take someone else's life. It saddens me to know that thousands of men died in order to satisfy the greed of two monarchs who lusted over the English throne. Tonight we hope to find out how the men felt as they stepped foot on the freezing fields of North Yorkshire, but most importantly, we want to know why they are still around. Did this mass battle doom the men to an eternity here on Earth, or have they crossed over from the darkness into the light? Welcome to Blood and Roses. Right guys, so we have arrived at tonight's location. It's absolutely banging it down with rain. Mark's on camera, Chris is in the back. I'm gonna give it a couple of minutes and then we're gonna make his way over to the site of Britain's bloodiest battle. Right Mark, so it feels like everything's been an obstacle tonight on his way to this location. Uh, obviously there were the accidents on the way here. Um, maybe we weren't meant to come here tonight, who knows? It definitely appears that there could be a sign, especially this weather's obviously not helping now, is it? But uh, uh, you've just in an orb shoot past your head. All oh, right. I'm lucky, didn't you? Man. I swear to God, I'm not winning car, I think. Is it? But um, how are you feeling in, in general about tonight's location? Nervous. Nervous? Really nervous, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie, when we got here, it, it was just quiet as hell, wasn't it? it was yeah, like, it's eerie. It was dead, literally dead. But we are here, guys. We are at St Mary's and we are investigating a redundant Anglican chapel that dates back to 1150 and obviously this this whole area is, is the old place where the War of the Roses actually came to its end. Right guys, so we have successfully gained entrance to tonight's location. Welcome to St Mary's. Let's go. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. This is insane. Oh my God. This man at all? I am. Not at all. Small, but... What's this down here? I thought it seems to be slipping on something. Uh, no, really. It's very it? Oh. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Oh, oh, still on graves. Still on graves. Oh man, what are we doing? <laughs> 
I'm going to do one now, because I'm going to set a tripod up at back at church, guys, looking straight at us, we'll put that camera up tripod and we'll roll with phones and, and everything that we can to yep. record, get as many angles as we can. Let's do it. Cool. So what we're going to do now, guys, is focus on a bit of uh, K2 work. We're going to place this spirit candle on the altar where a candle would normally go. This detects positive and negative static energy. Now, blue being the positive, obviously, illuminates more, and red being the negative. So I'm going to place this just on here. Um, so just bear with me, I'll place that next to the cross, that should go off in a, in a few seconds. The antenna is up for maximum sensitivity, we're going to move away from that area now and we're going to focus in that corner near the doorway where we're feeling the presence. Um, we're going to set up the K2 and look for any kind of activity. Hi guys, so Chris is at the back taking photographs near the altar where the spirit candle is. I've just turned on the K2 meter and we're going to get this underway. So I'm going to stand this up here. Can you see that mark? Uh, yes, I can. I'm not going to look at it. I'm going to fire photographs in that area. Tell me to focus on that, Just yeah. keep panning there if you see it go off. And uh, don't need to. Who's the spirits that keep lighting the candles on the night in this chapel? We are here to communicate with the soldiers that have fallen during battle, during the War of the Roses. Now, if you are here tonight and you can hear my voice, do not be afraid. We've come with one goal in mind, and that is to show the world and the non-believers that you are still here. So... Did you hear that? What? Like a shuffle. What? It's it, idea. Yeah. It felt like it would rain its eye, didn't it? Oh, maybe I've got a right cold breeze coming over here. Yeah, that like, oh. Are you here? Can you affect that device on the barrel on the way in? Give us some sort of sign. Show yourself as a ball of light. We've come from Barnsley. We're not too far away from Sandal Castle where another war was fought, another great battle. Were you present during that? If you were, can you affect that device right near the door? Whoa, no, hear that? No, that would be good, that. Oh. Don't even know. Were the medieval villagers that are seen working the fields, that are seen entering this chapel? Is that your man? Yeah, I've got creakiest feet in the world today for some reason. That weren't there. It won't do anything to you. It's simply a visual aid to prove that you're around. Mark, is that going to be the blue one to me? It is. It's going blue. It looks wow, like. I asked it to make it go really blue. Yeah, it does. That now is getting drier, that's detecting the positive static energy. If that's you that's affecting that device, can you go and stand next to it right now for me, please? While I take a photograph. This device will let me see who you are. Right guys, we're going to move on to the next part of his investigation. We're going to use this bell. I'm going to put this here. Obviously if that does go off, that's paranormal. Uh, we're also going to use a PSV7 to open up the connection. Can you hear my voice? Do you know who we are? Can you show yourself as a ball of light for us? Give us a sign that we're in the presence of spirit. We're going to turn on another device in a moment. This will give you a better voice. Do you wish for us to do that? Why not, did that say? Yeah? Why not then, yeah. Right, we'll do that for you now then. Do you want to come and take a seat on one of these pews? Just while we sell the other one. Look. 
sure? Right. There's a connection going now. They said they want the device on. So I'll keep hearing noises. Yeah, there's door, don't we? Yeah. Um, Chris is just setting up the geo port, ready for the next part of the experiment. Literally just a moment ago, we heard this like altar stone move. Or whatever it is. No one near it, absolutely no one. No one near it. I'm in this corner where I am now. Who two guys up there? How are you feeling up tonight? I felt awful. I just said to you that horrible feeling's lifted. And, and then that now, happened straight yeah, away, didn't it? Just now I've run back to that horrible feeling. Yeah. Mm. Can you describe this horrible feeling? Just my like anticipation of something. Oh! <gasps> fuck with that? Like, mmm. Mm. I don't quite even tell you where that's coming yeah, from. I thought it over there, I mean. If that was a spirit that's just made that noise, can you do it again right now? Right guys, so we've come to the second part of our experiment. Right, the next part is investigation. Um, as you can probably hear in the background, we've got the geo port. Now this is another experimental ITC device that's come all the way from America. Um, Chris has kindly brought us along with him tonight. Already, while he's just been playing in the background, we've heard some amazing stuff. We've heard awesome. the turn on the fear. We've heard uh, I want the weird monk. Um, so Mark's going to be taking photographs for all this. He's going to be stood this side of the camera. I'm going to be in that corner panning around with this night vision 4K camera. Um, hopefully, we'll capture something visually. But we don't know, it's paranormal investigation at its finest. So let's get started. Where's 
sound of swords flashing. It's like a cannon fire. Oh, I'm just exactly what I'm doing. A cannon. Can you tell us more about this war? Do you know who we are and why we are here tonight?
Let's turn that off now, we're going to darkness. Right, so it's got to go behind, but we've come here tonight looking for answers. Whoever it was that said Mark's full name is absolutely incredible. Thank you very much. That's why we're here for certain things like that. We love what we do. We're here to prove that the afterlife exists in some way or another. We want to know about other beings, other entities that may exist with you, that may coexist together in a parallel universe. We don't know how it works, we want you to tell us. Is it possible for you to physically speak to us right now so we can actually hear your voice? Is it possible for you to push something over on that desk, on that altar, on that slab? Oh, hear that? Oh, no. It is coinciding on a squid wind. So if it's slightly more than when it breathes. What's the best way for us to see you? Who was the ball of light that I've just seen on photograph that was right here? Let us 
hear your voice. Can you ring that bell behind you, Kyle? I'll put this up at the front. Then yeah. The purpose of debunking is it does get pressed. Yeah, it's on camera. He's giving him to it. Very, very so You've got no choice but to walk on as well, guys. It's not signing his respect. She physically got to walk on it. It's like we were placed there on purpose so that every time you walked over it, you remembered it with a grain and you wouldn't forget the person that it was. I was having more respect than this yeah. term, I really do. Someone just coughed then. <laughs> Tell me about that. I really do. Did you really? No. Having a short break, guys, but we're going to leave the camera rolling just in case. Uh, so, let's see if we've got a little bit. Right guys, so that brings us to the end of another fantastic investigation now. Unfortunately, the investigation abruptly ended. Hurt, Mark, do you want to explain why it ended? Uh, yeah, um, basically it was like quite an old country road that runs into like an housing estate near where we were. Um, we kept seeing a car slowly going up and down, up and down, and then there were torches being shone into the church. So at that point we obviously it's contamination against anything we capture. So we packed up and left. On his way out we approached him and it was just three young Kids. yeah, teenagers basically just wanting to explore. They said they wanted to explore <laughs> but they mentioned that they'd been to a battlefield, so for some reason to me it clicked that maybe they've got an interest in the paranormal. Yeah. Um, they asked us what we were doing there and they knew already, didn't they? Yeah, like, of course. They, did, yeah, they were loving yeah. it, they were like they looked like they wanted us to go in, but we'd already got halfway across the field. And it was freezing. Feet were wet through. <laughs> I couldn't see, you know, it looked like a blizzard had come out of nowhere. I was blind. I had bits of horse crap flying about. <laughs> my feet were wet through, man. Horrible. Never been as cold in my life. It took me about 10 minutes to warm up. Um, now, let's talk a little bit about what happened and what you've seen. Obviously, the main talking point is your name. Coming Full through. name. Full name. Three silly little Gallagher. Fruit spirit box. Did it even give you any indication of what your name were all night or out, did we? You no. The only thing I said was, can you please repeat my name? My name's Mark. And it came through with Mark. And then Chris has then said to me, ask, about ask if surname. I can say your surname. So I went, can you say my surname? Gallagher. Crystal clear. Instantly. Crystal, crystal clear. clear. You'll have seen it at this point. It's... Unbelievable. Then we, we heard um, what I thought was cannon fire. Yes. I said, can we hear the sounds of war? Mm -hmm. And I seriously believe I heard a, a, like a cannon being fired. Yeah. Which the whole area, you've got to remember, 100,000 men fought in that area. 20 plus thousand died in that area. For some of them, this could be a place of comfort, this chapel. Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? Definitely. It's in such pristine condition, it's really been looked after by the locals. Amazing. So if you ever do go there, please, please respect that because the locals are not going to let you ruin this kind of place. Definitely. Amazing place, beautiful inside, a lot of original features, there's even graves built into the floor. It's blown my mind. Um, you heard a lot of shuffling, didn't you, coming from loads, that? Loads, absolutely loads of shuffling, all near door. Um, like, there's one entrance, one door, it's, it's like, always there. It's like for some reason they, they were afraid to come in front of us. Yeah, I think we'd start all of Completely honest with you. They're, not, they're not used to people going at this kind of time. And then there was the lady, weren't there, that said, uh, yes. said she'd been to church in the morning. Yeah. What's yeah. going off? Like, we're crazy. It's unreal. But up on, I mean, up on entering the chapel, we saw like a light coming from it, didn't we? And we thought, yeah. whoa, there's been reports of lights coming from actually inside this chapel, like someone's going around lighting candles on a night or something. Is it, is it, is yeah. it paranormal? We don't know. But anyway, oh, is there somebody in there? That was other thing, weren't it? As we got closer, we were like, there's lights. Mm. Anyway, Mark debunked it straight away. What a reflection from, it must have been a light from a pub 400 yards down the road or something that was making this white 
like sign, road sign, whatever the hell it was that was stuck to the side of the building light up. Yeah. And as we got closer, it, it disappeared. So we're like, yep, yeah, that will debunk that. But maybe that's what people's been reporting, seeing driving past and things like that, because it does look like a light. And it does. when you're moving, it looks like it's flickering. Definitely. But I really enjoyed it. We're definitely going to go back there again. Good. Very impressed with the Geoport, very impressed with the results we got through it. Um, I thought it was a great investigation. Such a shame we had to end it, but it was cold, we were wet, and everything seemed to be in his way tonight. I mean, as soon as we were on route, we got stuck in a, after an accident with diesel on road. Then, obviously, we got to the location and decided to bang it down like a monsoon. <laughs> so, as soon as the break came, it rained, we were all over there. And then, obviously, it comes in freeze, and the kids at the yeah. end kind of sealed the night for us. Definitely. But I've really enjoyed it, and um, I think it's made a, a great little video. Yeah. Um, have you got anything you want to add, Mark, before we leave? Uh, just want to say thank you to Chris, who's been, been with us tonight. Um, he, put some, he put some fuel in the car, he bought us some fish butties. Yeah. Best uh, fish butty I've ever had, by the ever. way, as well. Ever. Absolutely. Not, that's no, no, no lie. What were it called again, now? Huh? It was from oh. Castleford, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, Papa's. Papa's Fish and Chip yeah, Restaurant. Check that out. Oh no. my god. Papa's. They're not even a sponsor, but check Papa's them out. Sponsors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Papa's, we live in our <laughs> fish butties. But yeah, uh, just thanks to Chris, and I've had an absolutely brilliant night. So, if you do like our videos, guys, then please head on over to YouTube, give us a big thumbs up. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, BuzzFeed, we're just everywhere. We're yeah. everywhere now. If you've got any queries or questions or you'd like us to investigate your home, please email soulreaperparanormal at gmail.com and also check out our website, www.soulreaperparanormal.com, where you can find information on the team, written articles and also his actual evidence collection where we've actually started his own research part of the team now where we're going to be posting pictures of spirits, spirit box sessions, uh, the water ITC methods that I'm going to show you how to actually conduct one of those sessions in the future. So yeah, big thumbs up. Thank you for watching guys and until next time. Oh, That's all you need.